okay so now we are going to use binomial expansion formula to expand so for example 12 we have by using binomial expansion expand x plus 2 over x to power of 4 which 4 here is one of the positive integers so recap a bit the formula we should have a plus with b to power of n is always started with n0 b to power of a to the power of n b to the power of 0 as well as we have plus n1 a to the power of n minus 1 b to the power of 1 and proceed with n2 a to the power of n minus 2 b to the power of 2 and so on please refer back again to the formula so if we apply the formula into our problems here so list down first which one is your a i have x here b is the whole things at the right so should be 2 over x and our n here is 4 so basically x plus 2 over x to the power of 4 equals to 4 0 4 0 is 1 anyway if you want to write it also okay if you don't want also don't does matter so i have x to the power of 4 but then 2 over x to the power of 0 proceed with 4 1 x to the power of 3 so 2 over x to the power of 1 plus with 4 2 x to the power of 2 now 2 over x to the power of 2 as well plus with 4 3 x to the power of 1 2 over x now to the power of 3 lastly we would have 4 4 x to the power of 0 is 1 anyway but just in case i want you to understand how to apply the formula so i just write that and then ending with 2 over x to the power of 4 okay so use your calculator this one is 1 anyway this one is 1 also now i would have x to the power of 4 plus with 4 times 2 should be 8 and then x cube of x should be x square then plus with 4c2 is 1 please remember that 4 2 means 4 2 here should have the meaning of 4c2 which when you insert into your calculator over there you would have 6 actually okay so now your answer there should be 6 straight away. So 6 times with 4 is 24. So plus 24. But then we have x squared over with x squared here. So that's gone already. And 4c3 also would have the value of 4. So 4 times with 8. That should be 32. But then you have x over x cubed. That should be over x squared. And finally, 4c4 is 1 anyway. Anything to power of 0 would be 1 also. Plus with 2 power of 4 should be 16 over with x to power of 4. Okay, so that should be your final answer. Please apply the formula that you have here for the positive integers. Next, what will happen if you have 2x minus y to power of 5? so again use the formula but before that maybe you want to make yourself clear which is which so list down what is your a in our case here it is 2x and then please be careful our b is together with negative number there because our formula is a plus with b the bracket the power of n okay so careful our b here should be negative y and then nonetheless our n is 5 okay so substitute into our formula it's 5 0 okay and then 2 x to the power of 5 okay and then please note that since we have more than two alphabets or unknowns here you should also always apply our safety pin which is the bracket okay, as well as what more if you have a negative number like this huh? so negative 5 y power of 0 okay since 
the instruction before I forgot the instruction is expand right so expand means you have to completely expand everything okay but then it what well, it will be quite different if the question asks you to expand up till four terms up till ter three terms and so on that will be another case but for this one expand means you have to expand completely nothing shouldn't be missing out over there okay so proceed here we would have five one two x four it's five minus one okay so negative y is the power of one five two should be two x to the power of three negative y now is the power of two plus with again five three two x two but then negative y to the power of three already and then we have some more here five four and two x to the power of one with negative y to the power of four and last but not least since we have 5 5 is 1 anyway and then we would have to add the power of 0 anyway so I'm gonna just write negative y to power of 5 also okay yeah so for this one the first term this one will be crossing out both are 1 anyway so we should have 2 to power of 5 please remember that one is 32 so x to power of 5 as well and then 5 c1 is is 5 huh? so 5 if you are quite confused about this you can do it slowly one by one and then please careful there's got negative over there here is actually 5 times by 16 x to the power of 4 negative y is some more there so 5 c2 is 10 to the power of 3 is 8 x cube and then negative square should be positive square so y square over there how about 5c3 it's also 10 so 10 times with 4x square and then negative cube should be negative again but with y cube right and then some more plus with 5 also so 5 times with 2x Please be extra careful here, guys. And then negative to power with the even integers should be positive. So it should be y to power of 4 already. And then that one should be minus because it's the power of odd numbers. Minus with y to power of 5. So our final answer here is 32x to the power of 5. Minus, please be careful there. Minus 80x to the power of 4 plus with. 80 x cube y square okay please you miss out y over there so x cube y square hence we would have minus again 40 x squared y cube and then plus with 10 of x y to power of 4 minus with y to power of 5 okay so check our answer over there 32 x power of 5 minus 80 at the power of 4y plus 80 x cubed y square minus with 40 x squared y cubed plus with 10 x y to the power of 4 minus with y to the power of 5. Okay.